I am so excited to bring you the pond video finally. I'm going to show you how I started it from A to Z, beginning to end. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, comment, like, and subscribe. I started this in 2020 at the beginning of the summer and 90% of it was done by me and all by hand, as in moving rocks, digging holes with a shovel. I had a little bit of help from my dad. He brought his skid loader down and helped me dig out the pond here a little bit. But most of it had to be done by hand because the skid loader couldn't get in there. And then the actual river part had to be done by hand. We got a large rainstorm, as you can see, and it flooded a lot of the pond, so I had to do a lot of stuff over. It was a muddy mess, but it did not stop me. I was definitely determined to do this and prove everybody that I could do it. Because we had so much rain, I put that pipe that you see here in this picture underneath the pond so it could drain. Okay, we plugged in the pond. Very first time. See what happens. See what happens. That rock way on top got moved, didn't it? One the Oh, it's coming! Yay! Let's turn it on. There it goes. Oh wow, listen to that sound. You can see all the dirty water going down. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, I love it. You hear that? You know, it would do a lot more when I get all the, the sealant down in there. So, cause half of it's going behind of it. Obviously, as you can see, there was still a lot of work to be done. My sister and my nephew helped me move some rocks by hand a little bit. Most of it I had to do by hand, but the rocks that were too big that I couldn't carry by hand, I had to use a cart. It was a very long, hard process. Getting closer all the time. inappropriate bridge, which is a temporary thing. It's getting there. Put a bigger pump in now, so the water's flowing better. Child. Actual dirt that I dug out, whether it was from the pond or the stream, I had to put it in buckets and then carry it out of the pond into a wheelbarrow and then move it to where I wanted the dirt to go. So that was a very long process. So it slowly got better and better with a lot of time, blood, sweat, and tears. It came together. So I went to the store and got 10 fish, goldfish. That's one of the best things that I could have done for the dogs in the pond because the dogs like to watch them. The fish eat the algae and it helps keep the pond clear and clean. As you can see, Maggie's my night owl and she 
loves going down to the pond and just watching the fish, especially at night. It was a fish, silly. No, it was like big. Yeah, it was like a big fish. But, you know what it was? It was probably a moss. No, it was big. Oh, you know what's in there? That big cool stump that we used to always put right there. Ow. That big stump? Remember oh, that yeah. cool stump? That's what you felt. Because no, that's where it went. Like well, th that's what went in there. And then also is the aerator, honey. What aerator? Thing that makes a bubble. Well, it kind of. But that log is right down there, and I'd love to have that back out. And then way down there also is like, remember we got all that tank stuff? Like there's like a castle and all that. That's way down there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's warm. There's Kaylee Maria. There's something in the warm up. And there's Evie and Maggie. Is there a way that I can like, like put like a flashlight under the water and look? Ugh, no. I don't really have anything like that. And actually at night it gets worse. Because those lights aren't really, so it's kind of muddy, so it's murky. That's why I'm trying to get it cleared out. So you can see to the bottom. Crystal clear is how we want it. Who are you talking to? You. I'm just filming. I was filming you. Oh. Trying to get in the water. When it comes to ponds and everything's natural, it brings all kinds of creatures in. So the funny thing about that last video is that little did we know we had snakes and all kinds of weird creatures that were coming and getting drinks from the water. The pond habitat is perfect for the goldfish. They have spawned and spawned and spawned. And now we have, I don't know, 70, 100 fish, all because they reproduced. chewing on a bone. Kaylee, what are you doing? She loves fish treats. And so she's trying to get in there and eat the little uh, cubes that I put in there. Just a second ago, she was trying to grab the bag and I caught her before she destroyed it and ate everything in it. When she's not looking, I'm going to get into that bag right there. That one. I'm going to act like I'm not interested. Doo -doo -doo. Now to the present year. As you can see, I've moved more rocks and filled in more stuff. I just keep adding more flowers and plants. And for some reason, I haven't had a chance to really film anything like I wanted to so far. But you guys, stop, please. 
But see, the thing is, is that as we go around the corner, you will see what I've been doing and how busy I am because I am a stay-at-home mom. And basically, I do everything around here because my husband works a lot. So if you want a nice yard and a nice home, you work your butt off. So Kaylee, Eve, Maggie, should we show them what we've been doing? Okay, let's go. Come on. Looks like I gotta mow again. Girls. Always rough housing. And this one just tries to stay clear. Don't blame her. Come on guys. Watch out. Take your leg out. Oh boy. Looks like somebody's been digging up here. Yep. Guys, why are we digging? Why are we doing this? Probably moles or gophers. We have a lot of those around here. Okay, come on, let's go. So, there's always stuff to do around here. Gotta love that sound. The waterfall and the stream. And these here are uh, solar panels um, to light up water at night and I'll show you that too. And I made this bridge. I have to finish all this stuff up. Kaylee, come here. Kaylee, come. Kaylee, come. Don't worry about Maggie. She wants to attack her. I'm gonna get her. See? They like the pond a lot, especially when it's been hot. They can just crawl in down below and drink and get nice and cool. So I just made this bridge. I needed a bridge to go over here. Put bamboo on the top of this so it wasn't so plain. Got a couple things yet to do. Pick up these rocks and move these solar things that don't work anymore. I wish they would make a product that was solar, but yet lasted quite well underneath the water. Because a lot of these, they don't, they just, they leak and they don't do good. Kaylee eating grass. So, good, it's clear today. I'm really struggling with all of the algae. Glad we have frogs because I love I love the frogs. So the other thing I did is I the pond went around like this. 
for the last couple years and I had extra liners so basically what I did is I cut all this down and then laid the liner over to the side and then put rocks around so you could just literally walk in and then I put sand down Maggie loves to watch the frogs and the fish but you gotta watch her in the spring because when the fish are still kind of lethargic from the cold water they're slow so Maggie grabs a hold of them she's killed twice two of them as far as I know I've, I've found two I gotta add some more rocks. Walk right in. I wanted that for the dogs, for the cats, for the chickens. Because before it was all oh, just a really tough wall. It was hard to get in. So a lot of my animals just had a hard time getting water. So Plus I wanted the kids to be able to just walk right in. She's not a swimming dog, but she definitely is a dipping dog. So she likes to do a dip cool off, chew the water, and hop out. One thing cool about Dobermans is they dry really fast. So I've had labs in the past and they <laughs> that took forever for them to dry off. I can't really see it that well. Cup of flowers getting ready. Let's see, right there. Gotta move that little fountain. Let's see if I can. And another thing fun about spring is that you get to see all of the plants forgot you planted or to see which ones are coming back that made it through our tough winter I think the best shots on the other side I'm trying to get over there again hi Eve hi honey So we still got a lot to do. We lost our shed. We had a big shed over there. And all this stuff is basically the stuff that was in the shed. And we had a really, really big storm. It was it wrecked a lot of things. It was scary. And it took that shed out, which is in one big pile way over there in the corner. Demolished, along with the swing and some other things. So now we're just working on getting a new one. But with the cost of everything that's gone up, it's just so much more expensive. So we'll see. And then I use this to move my rocks, these big rocks and boulders. I gotta finish this flower section out and then I think that's a lot of it besides weeding mowing all that stuff the maintenance oh my light broke too gotta get rid of that thing it used to look like that one 
And here's the gazebo. Got the chair covers on. A little hunter Maggie. And Kaylee's doing her own hunting. Way over there. She likes to smell from moles and gopher holes and snake holes. And she digs holes and then we gotta fill them. And then I put these up this year. I'm gonna kind of fix them, but it's to stop the basketballs from flying into the pond and wrecking flowers. So it does help. I had a whole bunch of extras of these. So I thought, let's use them. And there's little fish that are all in here. My son Jacob loves to catch them, catches them. Just one after another. Let's see if we can see any. They hide. put one fish in here from the fair this year and the rest of the little tiny ones are, they're all hatchlings and especially ones that Jacob's pulled out of the stream these little tiny ones
There's fish in here. And there's fish in there. Let's see if I throw a rock. Did you see anything? But they're little. Hmm. We didn't see anything. Let's see if we can see something over here. Oh yeah. Saw. Yeah, you can see them. better spot to look on the other side. Hard to see, but they're in there. some next time. When we first walked up, I saw an orange and black one and then another big black one. But they're hiding. There's Maggie. Look and watching your sister. So here it is, 
the pond is finished to a point, it's always gonna have improvements. This is, as of a few months ago, the last time I filmed the pond and took pictures of it right before winter. And this is hopefully what it's gonna look like when the snow melts and the spring comes and summer hits again. I'm sure there's gonna be tons of dead, dead plants, but I will replant and rebuild and hopefully no leaks. I am planning on getting a little different of a bridge, um, but for the most part, it's done. If there's updates, I will let you know. But we find fish all up and down the river. They spawn down in the pond and then they get sucked up. I don't know if little tiny babies get sucked up or the eggs or what, but we find them all up and down this the river part and then up in the two upper pond areas and so my son is always outside scooping them up and putting them down into the pond because if they don't get put down into the pond they will grow and grow and they will get stuck and the ones that are up here in this pond area they when it comes to winter they will freeze and a lot of times we can't get them out because they're in they hide in between the rocks so they will freeze solid I do have this summer I do need to this upcoming summer I need to fix the water the large waterfall it's just not streaming like it should and it is leaking behind some of the rocks so I will have to put foam pond foam in there and seal it up better and make it just more of a nicer waterfall As you'll see here, Maggie sees fish, and she sees them, and she'll try to get them. If you have any questions on how I built this that I didn't explain, please feel free to ask me in the comments. If you liked it or like it, please let me know what you think. I'd love to help you out if you want to do this build a pond yourself. I'd love to give you pointers if you need it. The pond is so relaxing and the birds and the animals the creatures are just awesome. I love that I'm supplying water and food for nature. And I love watching and listening to the birds, seeing turtles, not snakes, but other nice creatures that come around the yard. Speaking of creatures, I'm going to list above here some other videos that I've done of the animals that have 
come into the yard, good, bad, and also Kaylee hunting rabbits and deer and things she thinks she can catch. Now you can't see. 